In this video, we will see the concept of IDOX in SAP. So let us look at the agenda for this session. So first we will cover the IDOC and then we will see the steps to create IDOC. IDOCs are nothing but an intermediary document which contains data. So technically speaking, the IDOC is a group of segments. We can see it here. This is an IDOC. This is group of segments here and these segments are divided into two that is standard segment and custom segment. So standard segment start with an E and custom segment start with a Z. So we can see segments are similar to structures. Why? Since these structures consist of some fields. Now let us look at the steps to create an IDOC. So first we can see we have to create the segment and after creating the segments we have to insert the segments into our IDOC. So in this use case we will be creating two segments and we will be inserting these two segments into our IDOC. So for that we have to go to transaction code WE31. So here we have to provide our segment type as Z1 K KNA1. So here we have maintained our segment name as Z1 KNA1. Then we have to click on create button and we have to provide a short description. After that we have to provide these fields here and since we are providing our fields so it is like a structure which is, which is actually a segment itself. And then we have to click on save and back and on the edit here we can see edit is there and we have to set it to release. Now the segment definition is completed and released. And this release status indicate that segment def definition is completed and it can be used for transferring the data. So till here we have completed our one of the segment. So here we will be also creating our sec second segment that would be named with Z1K and BK. So all the similar steps we have to follow and the field would be Kunar Banks and BANKL. And similarly we have to save it and release it also. The step 2 would be to create an IDOC and to create an IDOC we have to go to WE30 and after creating the IDOC we, have, we also have to insert our two segment that we have already created there. So to create an IDOC we have to go to WE30 and give the name as this one and click on create and give a particular description and presenter and we have to click on the button create segment. This is the button here create segment we have to click on it and afterwards a pop up is appearing. This, this is the pop-up. So here we have to provide our segment type. So this is our segment type here. This already we have created that is Z1KNA1. So this was the first segment that we have created. And here just select the checkbox if we want the segment to be it mandatory. This is the checkbox here. We have to select it. And if we want to make it as mandatory, we have to do it. Now press enter. Now put the cursor on Z1KNA1 and click the button create. And another pop-up is appearing. Now under pop-up appears, here we have to provide the segment name as ZNK and BK and we have to put the maximum and minimum as 1 and 9000, this, this number we have to provide because each customer we would, will have more than one bank account. So maximum we are providing it as 99999. Now just press enter and finally the hierarchy would appear like this. So this was our IDOC name and this is our first segment and this is our second segment. So this way our IDOC is generated. Now we will see all these steps practically. So as we already discussed IDOC is a simple intermediate document. So now let's see the steps. First we have to go to transaction code WE31. So here we go. So here we have to create segments and then we have to create IDOC. So to create segments, we have to provide a segment name here and let us provide it as ZNKNA2. And now let's click on the create button. Here it is. So here we have to give a short description regarding this and then we have to fill in this field names. So we can give it anything. I am just giving it as IDOC. Now regarding the field name, we have to provide some particular field name. So I am providing Kuna here. And this would be name 1. So that's done. Now we have to save it and come back. Now from the edit menu, we have to click on set release. 
so it has been released and this is the number now we will create another segment type and we will name it as something different let us name it as Z2 K N B K 2 so there we go we have to create it we have to provide a short description let us provide it as idoc itself and the field we shall provide it as kuna and the second field would be banks third field would be b a n k l so that's done we have to save it again so there, there we go now we have to uh, click on edit and set it as release so that portion is also done now what we have to do this was the first step and first step included we have to create the required segment in WE31 with some fields so this was our first step now moving on to the second step that is create an IDOC in WE30 by inserting all the above segments so we have created two segments here in WE31 now we have to insert it, these two segments in our IDOC and for that we have T code WE30 so here we have to provide our object name so suppose let us provide it as Z Z D E B M A S O 5 so this is what we have to provide so I have already created it I will just click on edit ok it does not exist I will just create it again I talk so here we go it is created now we have to click on th this particular row here that is IDOC and click on create segment now here we have to provide our segment type that we have already made suppose it was Z1 KNA2 and we can check it as if it is the mandatory segment and here minimum and maximum number should be 1 because the customer master will have a single record itself so it will be 1 itself I will click on continue so here we can see our one of our segment is added now what we have to do we have to click on ZNAKNA2 and click on create segment so select add segment type as child itself now here we have to provide our second segment which was Z1KNBK2 and we can make it mandatory also so now we have to give this number as 1 and maximum number as 9999 since we don't know how many entries would it have because each customer would be having more than one bank account so that's why we are giving it as 9999 and just press enter so here we go so our IDOC is finally created that is our hierarchy should look as, look as below so this is our IDOC type object type and it contains two segments so this was regarding IDOC and its segments now what we have to do we can link message types with our IDOCs and to do so first we have to create a message ok I have to save it and we can also link message types to our IDOCs so for that first we have to create messages and to do so we go to WE81 so creation of logical message types here now go to edit and click new entry so here we go here we shall provide a message type request underscore message one in short test is example message so that's done I will save it so now we will use this particular message type to link to our IDOC now next fourth step is to link message type and IDOC type for that we will go to transaction code WE82 so this is our transaction code the WE82 which is display view output types and assignment to IDOC types overview now here we have to link 
these created idoc types and message types so enter the message type name you have to enter message type name and basic type ok let us do it click on edit and click on new entries so in the message type we have to give the message type that we have already made which was zcust underscore message1 and in the basic type we have to provide our idoc name and what was our idoc name it was something like z d e b m a s ok here we go this was our basic idoc name and the release was 740 as i already showed you uh, let me just show you again w e 31 going to here where we created our segments so here we have set it to release so it is already released we can see the number here that is 740 so we have to provide 740 here one entry chosen and here we go and it is done so this message type is now also linked with our idoc so in this session we have seen four steps first step was to create segments second step was to link these segments with our idoc we have created an idoc in the step 2 and in the step 3 we have created message types and the step 4 we have linked our message types to our idoc so this way we can create idocs in sap app hope these steps were clear to you thanks for watching